Hello, everybody. This is Chani Weens, and this is my next uh, teacher leadership vlog. And this is from the unit on teachers as researchers. So I was asked to talk about something that resonated with me from this unit. And for me, it was definitely um, my blog post after sharing my vision statement and my mission for my classroom. And I talked about um, wanting to use math for students to use math and the things they learn in math to make the world a better place. And Christine asked what I meant by making the world a better place. And this was such a thought provoking and interesting question for me because I think maybe I have assumed that this means the same thing for everybody. Uh, but again, I'm in a context of a Christian school. Um, and so me, I really wanted to flush out more of what the thought process I went through after she asked that question. Um, I responded quite uh, quite a bit on the actual post, but wanted to just elaborate a bit here. So I think it's so important that as educators, we keep our eyes on what we're actually doing, which is creating people, creating these whole uh, people, at least helping in that process. And that it's really not just our job to get them to understand, you know, the slope of a line or how to take a derivative, but how to take being a learner um, into the greater world and into society as they grow into people and to help them to understand how to be curious and how to be big picture thinkers, how to think outside the box and be creative and how to get excited about learning and what that can do, not only for them, but for the greater world. So if learning is just done in isolation without any application, then really who cares? I mean, learning can be beautiful, you know, learning a, a sonnet by Shakespeare or a proof in mathematics. These things have beauty for their own purpose. They do. But I really believe that as educators, we're creating people that are going to uh, shape what our world is going to become. So, you know, in my response to Christine, I talked about how, you know, all this anxiety I see in students, I really see it as going back to, um, this pursuit of happiness and this idea that if I'm not happy, then I must be doing something wrong. My whole life is about trying to figure out what makes me happy. And I think that's just creating a lot of unhappy people because happiness is just a feeling. It's something that goes up and down. Um, it's never something we'll be able to achieve constantly that's for sure. So I just find this idea of happiness really, really uh, detrimental. Also, the thought that success comes from wealth and from finding a good job. And that's the reason why you need to do well in school is so you can get more education and get a higher paying job and that that will bring <clears throat> self-satisfaction and self-worth is also, I think, very detrimental. So it all comes back, in my opinion, to being useful. And I shared that Wolf Ralph Waldo Emerson quote uh, about the purpose of life is not happy, but to be useful, to make it a difference that you're on earth, that you leave it in a better shape than when you started. Um, so really my mission and vision of education should be to create whole people who desire change and action and want to be useful to the world and not just happy for themselves. So how this relates back to research is I really think that as teacher researchers, we should continue to research what skills are needed in the world, what's missing, what are the big problems that need to be solved, what type of thinking is needed to solve those problems, where are the gaps, where are things, where, what do people need that they're not getting, and then to design courses and ways of thinking and ways of assessing that are meeting those needs out there in the real world. So that's just my two cents on what resonated with me from unit four. Hope you guys enjoyed hearing me rant a little bit about <laughs> happiness uses versus usefulness. My students hear it all the time. So uh, maybe you took something from that too. All right, have a great day.